Back to the sideboard here at the StarCityGames.com Standard Open Orlando, brought to you by Ultimate Guard. I'm Nick Miller, alongside our now back-to-back -back Standard Open champion, Tom DeRaw. Tom the Boss, Ross. Thanks, like, man. What's it like to just never lose? I don't know. Just run people over. <laughs> <laughs> they, they just don't have it. It's great. Uh, but yeah, I worked on deck with uh, Charles again. He made, he made a few changes, some hand weird watch captain's main. I like convince him to play a third in order champions and like secure the wastes in the sideboard, which is real bad all tournament, but whatever. <laughs> ready, to, ready to watch this Cavs game. <laughs> take your third, take your third two-day open tr trophy. Yep. First person to ever do that. First person to ever win back-to-back -back invitationals. True. First person to ever win back-to-back two-day opens. It's yeah, a lot of winning. It's just I don't know, man. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. You just win everything. I felt like I got lucky in the lineup a little bit. I mean, Hoogan Mulligan to five too, so it's not unlucky. Mm -hmm. But you know, he's playing a three-color deck. I'm playing like a one-color deck. Sometimes one and a half. <laughs> so uh, have some explosive draws. I don't know. Talk about try to teach them. <laughs> <laughs> People just won't listen. Talk about your game three hand. You know, in the finals, you looked at it for a minute before you know deciding on whether to keep or not. And you you know way, the way the game played out it was clear. You kind of had this bushwhacker plan. It looked like. Yeah. Was that what you were thinking when you're looking at it? Uh, it was a good hand that couldn't be radiant flame. So I didn't care. I just roll the dice. If he has it, I'll probably lose. <laughs> well, he didn't have it. You had, you know, the 2-2 two -two into the Bushwhacker. He played another Pacifist. You had a bunch of draws off the top to win. You drew uh, the Goblin yeah. Bushwhacker. You said, this probably does it. And just pushed him in. Most anything that's not a creature or Needle Spires probably killed him. Just the untapped land would have made Needle Spires active. Yeah. yeah, I drew one of my, like, outs. It's probably like half my deck, I don't know. I ain't count. I ain't count how much damage I attacked for. I didn't count my outs. Yeah. Just jam them all in sideways. What are they gonna do? Yeah. Well, you're now in the lead for season two in the points race, if not very close to Andrew Main, depending yep. on how he did this weekend. So yeah, players championship something. on the line. Players championship slot on the line for season two, but also top three in the year-long race. Only behind two people in this top eight. Yeah, Hoogland and Jerry. Jerry's like just hanging out with me, basically came this just to hang out with me. He already qualified, so he's not really going for the player of the year, but he's going to take it if he can. I know Jeff's going for it, and man, knocked him out, so maybe I'll just take a spot. Those are fighting words right there. You better be wary if Tom is going to come for you. Yep. We going to expect to see you in Dallas next weekend? I am. I haven't booked a ticket yet, but I plan on making a run. So this run ain't going to make itself, so I'm going to be there. Uh, the run has looked pretty good. You've done not a lot of losing in two opens. Want to pick the winner of the Cavs-Warriors uh, game tonight? Um, going for the Cavs. All right. I think LeBron's just playing out of his mind. Oh, well, from one person playing out of his mind to another, congrats, Tom. Mm. I'm going to send it back over to Cedric and Craig one last time here in Orlando. <laughs>